Hello everybody! Today we'll speak about the reversal chart settings. The price should pass a certain distance in order to form this bar type, after which the price rolls back for a set value. You see a schematic example on the screen. Let's imagine that a bar opened here, and the minimum height of the bar after which a rollback could be counted out with these settings is 13 ticks, which means that the price should move 13 ticks up or down. The price may fluctuate in this range until it passes 13 ticks. As soon as the price passes 13 ticks, the next parameter rollback activates. It equals 5 ticks in this example. The bar closes, and a new one starts to build after a 5 tick rollback from the low. In other words, if the candle moved down 5 ticks more, it would have had to do a 5 tick rollback already from a new low. Why is this chart type interesting? Because we can select the settings for each instrument's volatility individually. The reversal chart fits very well for the volume and spread analysis, that is, the price reaction to various levels, or reactions of buyers and sellers. Let's consider some reversal chart examples with various settings, how they differ from each other, and what conclusions we can make about the instrument. We took six chart settings on one instrument with the parameters of the minimum bar height from 1 to 6 ticks, and fixed value of the price rollback of 6 ticks. First, look at the places marked with black dots. The down movement consists of a number of small candles in the first two charts. The minimum bar height is one tick in the first chart. It means that it is sufficient for the price to move one tick up or down after the bar opening in order to activate the price rollback parameter by six ticks in the opposite direction. We see in the first two charts that the price moved in a jigsaw manner. We remove this noise from chart 3, changing the minimum bar height of three ticks and get complete volatile candles. Now we can see the total volume of the whole decrease in them. Now, have a look at the bars with the red dots. We see volatile candles even in the shortest time frame with the minimum height of one tick. It means that the movement was more accelerated without six tick rollbacks. Thus, we received information from the charts 1 and 2 that some movements were faster, if we may say so, while some were heavier and slower. Using the reversal chart, you will be able to set it for your specific purposes. If your goal is to get rid of the noise, you need to use the minimum bar height at least of 3 ticks on gold. If you want to find the fastest movements with the price acceleration, you need to use the minimum height settings of 1 or 2 ticks. There are 3 impulse down moves in this example. By the way, this example precedes the previous upward reversal on the previous slide. We see in the first chart with the bar height of 1 tick that these impulses were not that super fast. There were stops and rollbacks. As a rule, the price would move quickly without rollbacks on the microstructure during stop-loss demolition or breakout of important levels. Such candles, as you can see in chart 1, may prompt you that it isn't that easy for sellers to cope with the down movement as it might seem. Everything fits into the logic in this context. The down movement became too hard during the day, which could be seen from the broken candles of down movements. Growing volatile candles, which moved faster and easier than the descending ones, started to emerge after the stop and low formation. It might give us a clue during the market analysis that the buyer doesn't have a big resistance or the buy stop orders accelerated the price. Of course, it should be taken into account that robots are responsible for a minimum 50% of the trading volume. That is why robots, which aggressively bought and moved the price to new levels, could have created these movements. We changed positions of the minimum bar height and price rollback in these charts. The minimum height now stays unchanged, 6 ticks, while the price rollback changes from 1 to 6 ticks. Initially, the price has to move 6 ticks up or down. Then it is sufficient for the price to move 1 tick back for closing the candle in the chart 1. The rollback in the last chart should be 6 ticks. That is why we will see the biggest candles and shadows in the last chart. Now, a big number of bars are closed practically immediately after reaching the value of the minimum height of 6 ticks in the first and second charts due to a small value of the price rollback. These charts look very much like range bars, since their sizes are similar in the majority of cases due to a minimum rollback of 1 tick, which happens very frequently. Further, we can see that the bigger the price rollback, the more volatile the candles are. I believe the logic of the chart building is clear now. 
You can select parameters the same way, having opened at least 4 charts of one and the same instrument and having loaded parameters incrementally. And of course, try to have some idea before you configure the settings. For example, you want to find the places where the buyer tried to push the price up, but he failed, which means that you need tails and volumes in the tails. It means that you need to select such parameters, so that the price rollback would be rather big, but the minimum height also should be big in order to have a big number of tails. You will look, for example, for the volume or either positive or negative delta in these tails. In other words, you formulate some idea first, and then you select parameters for this idea.